In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn on TradeStation 10 automation for a futures trading system, fully automated trading system. This is Cobra 3. And what you're going to do is you're going to, once you make sure that your data and input settings are correct for your strategies, you can right click on SA. SA means uh, strategy automation or customized strategy up there. And you can see here is Cobra 3, a profit target, long exit, a short target. And you can double click. You can check all your input settings. Uh, you should make sure that is all correct. All the data settings for your data is correct. And once you do that, to turn on automation, here are the steps. The first one you want to do is you want to make sure that this is checked. If this is not checked, then you can't check the rest of it. You can check this. It won't automate it, but it'll send strategy orders to your trade manager tab. And so you can see the strategy orders. But automation is not on yet. Then you want to select automate and then you select I agree and you're using this account number. So you could potentially have multiple accounts uh, and you want to make sure that you're automating in the correct account. This is a SIM account for example, um, but many traders have multiple accounts. So you want to make sure you have the correct futures account and once you do, you have to select whether you want account with confirmation on or off. If you're going to sit here and watch all the trades all day and you want to confirm them, you can do that. I select off by default. I don't sit here and confirm trades all day. I watch them. And so here is how I set up this first page. That is simply how you set up automation. And there are some additional settings we can take a look at. You can find those by selecting properties for all. And then you can go in here under, um, in the general tab, you could say use look inside bar back testing. You can do that for incremental uh, down to one minute. Uh, if you use one tick, you can't g go back as far in your back testing. There's only about six months of data. But I recommend that when you automate a strategy, you don't have too much data. I typically go back about seven months, even though many of my strategies I back test to 2007, 2008. I usually pick three to seven months. I want enough historical data on the chart to make sure the strategy works. And so for this strategy, I have seven months of data. And so that is what you can have. Use look inside bar back testing. You can add commissions if you want. This just calculates the hypothetical uh, performance. You can have an initial capital of 100,000 or whatever you want. These numbers right here are simply just used in the hypothetical performance report. And they don't affect actual automation. But you can sync those up with your actual account uh, size. If you have an account of $20,000, you could put that there. You could put your commissions in here, your slippage in here. I typically, when I back test, I typically put in dollars per trade and $12.50 um, and then test it on a one contract basis. Um, you can do it on a uh, per trade total cost. You could do it on different settings. But I don't need, you don't need to worry about setting these up just for automation. And so I'm just strictly going over the automation right now. Now you can sele select back testing. And typically in my back testing, I have this fill entire limit order when back test occurs at limit price or better. And because I do that, I want to make sure that my limit order is filled. And to do that, I select this replace entry limit orders with market orders if they're not filled after anywhere from 0 to 15 seconds. I test different values. You can use 0 to 15. Same thing with a profit target. Replace strategy exit limit orders with market orders 0 to 15 seconds. That's under the autom automation tab. There are two types of setups. I always use this first setup right here. This is what I always use because I do multi-strategy automation and um, you want to make sure for sure that this third checkbox is marked. If you're, multi, if you're automating strategies on the same symbol, multiple strategies on the same symbol, you have to check this on every single one of those that are being automated or you will get an error. And then you can use this. This is typically done when you just trade uh, one strategy per account or one strategy per market per account. I never use this but it can be done. Stop orders. This means that your stop orders are held at the exchange in the trade station order network. They are not, um, these are not held 
currently by default stop orders are just sent as market orders once the uh, signal hits that stop a market order is sent so you have to make sure that if you use this that you check it uh, otherwise you can have a strategy that has a stop order at the exchange you can have a limit order at the exchange and you want to make sure your platform you don't lose connection uh, that's why I recommend a VPS in New York you want to get a New, a New York VPS um, because the trade station servers are in New York we, I realize the futures exchanges are in Chicago but the trade station servers are in New York so if you have this checked um, you, you know in your strategy hits your limit order this order will still be in here if for some reason you got disconnected you would have a if, say for example if you were long the market here you might have a limit order here a stop order here and those would still be in the market um, because they would not be canceled if you're disconnected if your trading platform got disconnected or crashed you need to make sure that you check on it and that your trading platform does not crash so you don't have unmanaged positions or orders in the market so I leave this unchecked I like to send a market order once that's sent and so that's my personal preference and those are the basic settings there are other things um, if you if you change anything it'll ask you this would you like to disable the strategy automation I say no and then we're, we're flat right now so you just turn on automation and you'd see that go to green and once you have it on green you know it's automation so you can right click you can customize the strategy again you can select customize and you can change the inputs I don't I don't typically change any of these things I just use the default you can change the entries you can change the exits um, you can change this calculation I don't change any of these and so these are my default settings for automation that I use and that is the basis on how I that's the basic setup for setting up automation in TradeStation 10 on a futures uh, automated trading system and for this example we're talking about the e-mini NASDAQ 15-minute bars trading Cobra 3